Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, this is the second video in a short series where I'm talking about the geometric mean and some of the uses for each. Now this particular one could be of interest to a bunch of people because it deals with money, but at the same time it's one that your calculator might well do for you, but at the same time I think it's useful to see how it works so that you can understand what the calculator is actually doing. So we're going to talk about an application of geometric mean. And I want to talk about annual return on an investment. Dealing with money. Everybody loves money, I'm sure. Some people more than others. But we won't go there. So let's say I have an investment. The initial amount of the investment, the initial amount is going to be $1,000. Let's say I inherited it. Now, it's annual, so that means yearly. So one of my columns is going to be year and then let's pick an amount that goes here. So it's the beginning of time as far as this investment is concerned. So we're going to put the year as zero. There technically is no year zero, but for the purposes of this, yes. And the amount is $1,000. Year zero because no time has passed. Now let's say at the end of year one, our investment is worth $1,120. That's a good return on the investment already. Let's say that at year two, our investment has shot up to $1,400. And then in year, at the beginning of year three, let's say it had a correction, and it went down some, and now it's only worth $1,330. So the question might ask us, what is the average, remember geometric mean is an average, annual return on this investment? So you want to know whether it's worth it. And it's, this is something that you would see if you're looking at a mutual fund, maybe, um, or some other sort of investment, and on the prospectus, or even if you don't get the prospectus and you're just looking at some website that does financial data, and they talk about the annual average rate of return, this is essentially how the computer figures it out. And it's a good application for when does it use geometric mean? So the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out the actual annual return. Annual return. So for each year that passes, we're going to find the dollar amount and the percentage for each one. So year zero, the beginning of time, there is no return yet because we haven't had one year pass. Now, for year one, it's worth $1,120, so we subtract the $1,120 here from the original $1,000, so we gained in $120. $1,400 in year two, minus the $1,120 that it was here, 1400 minus 1120. Remember my motto, don't be a hero, use a calculator. 1400 minus 1120 is 280. And then 1330 minus 1400 is going to be negative 70. The negative is important, but not as important as you would think. 
So this is the annual return, but what is what is this as a percent? Well, we need to take that number and we need to divide it by the amount it was before. So this grew $120 out of the original 1000 This grew $280 out of the original 112 And then this one shrunk by 70 out of the original 1400 So we'll get decimals here. 120. Let me set that there. 120 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.12. But keep in mind, that's just how much it grew. We still keep 100% of our investment. 100% is 1 as a decimal. So really, this number here, 1120, is 1.12 times the original $1,000. Here, it grew $280, so 280 divided by the original 1,120, excuse me for that. 0 0.25, it grew a whopping 25%. And since it was added to our original investment, we have 1.25. Now this one shrunk 70 out of the original 1,400. That's negative 0 0.05. Remember, it's coming off our original 100%. So really in this case the number is 0 0.95. It's not a negative. If, if you leave it as a negative, if you left this as 0 0.12, 0 0.25 and negative 0 0.005, this would come out very wrong. Remember, with investments it's almost always important to remember the original 100%. So to find this average annual return on this investment move the paper up a little I need to find the geometric mean of these three numbers 1.12 1 1.25 0 0.95 and to do that if you remember the geometric mean video I'm going to multiply all three of them, 1.12, 1 1.25, 0 0.95, and then because there are three of them, I'm going to cube root it. 1.12 times 1.25 times 0.95 equals, so we're looking at the cube root of 1.33, cube root 1.0997 oh, that's enough decimal places 1.0997 this is a number that represents a percentage remember we added that 100% because we're accounting for our original investment there's balance. We added that, but we have to take it back off at the end. We've got 0 0.0997, which as a percentage is 9.97%. That's our average annual rate of return. Excuse the bell. What does this mean? This means if you want to ignore the volatility where this went up 12% at a decent clip, this went up at a huge 
rate 25% and then this one went back down. If you wanted to annualize it, it would be 9.97%. Here's a better way to see this. If I took my $1,000 and I multiplied it by that number, 1.0997, and I did it for one, two, three years, what would I get out? 1,000 times 1.0997 raised to the third power 132991 pretty close 132991 which is about where we wound up there you can do this for more years you can do this for different numbers you can do this for in different investments I think it's a good exercise to see what purpose geometric means serves, but in reality, I'm probably just going to let the computer do this. Anyway, I hope this was interesting to you. If you like the video, press the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.